Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another Factorio Pyanodon stream. Let's get straight onto the server tonight and straight into Discord, as always. See who we can find, or not, as the case may be. Oh, yeah, how big is the map tonight? <clears throat> Over 30 meg. I haven't quite hit 40 meg yet. Almost, almost exactly 35 meg. Nice. Okay, all oh, right. I've forgotten exactly where I was last night. There was so much going on in this little area that I suspect was a mouse gone. There it is. Okay, what do we got here? I'm here. Yeah, so last night we were building in this area, making everything for processors. I think binary's been on and he has managed to get this to produce this. Yep, 131 is made so far. It's not a lot, but it's something. And that's what matters. Let's see now. Bio batteries, which is this, which was the alien bacteria. Which was the serine, serine? I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Is this one? That outputs into there. What's this missing? Still the Kamort tendons, which were being delivered by box here. So that is still an ongoing shortage. Which I'm pretty sure we kind of bodged together last night. So it kind of it works, but does it really work? So... Oh, here comes Kev. Fantastic, you've been Discord in a sec. I think the tendons were up here somewhere. Not sure where though. Can't actually remember where they were being built. Is that them? No, that's not them. I don't know what they are. They're the bee type things. There's one problem with the map this size still. I've got no idea. Even with the recipes turned on, can't even begin to tell you where stuff is. It certainly seems like that's the bottleneck. Because everything else that needs 40 zog and bacteria. How's that coming through? Yeah, both of these are requesting tendons, so we need two of these. So this factory here is constantly outputting. It's got lamps. It just can't output. It's got everything else it needs. Yeah, wood, pictures, but it doesn't, that's nothing. Yeah, that is a nothing machine, that, so it's nothing to do with that one. It is all to do with the tendons. Let's have a look on here and just see if we can work out what's what. Okay, you get them from caged commorts at the slaughterhouse. You can make them a bio printer which I think is what Kev was doing yesterday printing them basically bio scaffold pluripotent stem cells and fetal serum so I'm gonna, this is where I'm going to go down the rabbit hole of the recipes and yeah Brace yourselves. Alright, bio scaffold. Bone meal, sodium alginate, and boric acid. So, first things first, bio scaffold, bio scaffold on the logistics. It's 420. Okay. That's a good start. Pluripotent stem, stem cells. Just put in stem cells. Ooh. 
Oh, so that might be a bottleneck. Okay. And then the other thing was a fetal serum. So there's plenty of that. So it is. It's the pluri, pluri dooey, hooey dooey things. What are they called? Pluripotent stem cells. Okay, so there's five ways of making those. That's a slightly better recipe. Okay. Oh, that's an even bigger one. That is a lot harder. So this will be the one. Hey, good evening, Akram. Akram is in Discord. Uh, Kev's on the server. Kev okay, will hopefully join Discord in a minute. He usually does. That can be sure in the server, fantastic. Pluripotent stem cells, so sugar. I know we've got retrovirus oxygen. So sugar, primers, and xenogenic cells. Let's have a look. Sugar, yes. Primers, yes. Zen, I don't even know how to spell that last one. Xenogenic cells. Ah. Okay. Oh, good evening, Kev. Welcome. Where are you in this mess? <laughs> to give a hide and seek tonight, you've got to try and find me. <laughs> Is that Marco. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, I'm the one that's supposed to say Marco. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I am where I left myself last night, although I'm pretty well hidden amongst it all. Up in the um, circuit tier 3 is it binary built in the top left corner. Where are the giant snake plants that we saw pictures of? Oh, yeah, that's true. It's, um, oh, there you go. It's... Look at that thing. Edvonics Den. Oh, we've got two of them now. Vonix. That's how put in some weird looking bubbly thing. Nice. That is cool. I, did, I tell you what, I know we keep saying it, the design of some of these um, like uh, buildings and such and, and Especially the, the animals, I guess this whole new mod with the um, pie life, animal life, whatever it's called. What's it called? Pie alien life, that's it. These are by far my most favourite ones so far, I think. Out of all the animals I've seen, I think these are the most impressive. Definitely. So far. So far. I can't wait till we get the cats. Can't wait to show you the cat. The cat's great. They look like giant Venus flytraps. Oh no, no, you're not. They look like. Did you ever see the film Tremors? Nope. You've never. Oh my goodness. You've never seen Tremors. Oh boy. <laughs> you should look it up. It's an old one. It's from the. I think it's from the eighties. So it's it's probably not aged terribly well, but the tremors were just like these. They're great big worms that live underground and terrorize people, chase them down based on vibrations. It's like a proper B movie type thing, but oh, it's brilliant. That's exactly what they look like. They look like great big tremor worms. Right, I'm trying to work out what's best to make because up here where the the hold up up here for these T3 circuits is tendons again. It's just tendons. We're just not getting enough quick enough to make the serine to put into the next one, to the next one, to the next one. What are the cutlets? The land shrimps missing. Land shrimps, where are they? Like these things here. 
Is the flue gas by the iron? Nope. Never mind. <laughs> Zippies, don't want zippies. What were they called? Yeah, so we have an overabundance of them now. We're missing them. Got it. Um, <laughs> the KMA. Oh, the Kamorts, yeah, the Kamort tendons, aren't they? Yeah, those things. Those things. The, th the thing that we can't decide what it's called, along with a lot of other things in this mod. <laughs> oh, I don't even know where they're, where they're being made. Is that in there? No, that's all the ricks. Aha. Ah, okay. Right, that's top left of me. Right, let's head up there and have a look. I think it might be some sort of food, I'm not sure. Yes, they're missing uh, yes. rations. <clears throat> yeah, they're definitely missing rations. Okay, I found the ten I found the tendons plant at least. Uh, to be fair, that's actually just a bit slow. Anyways, can we speed that up with the speed module? I'm assuming the answer is going to be yes, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, it's now 1.2 rather than 1. It's not great, but it'll do. So what's that getting? That's getting the caged... K-morts, K K-mounts, whatever, whatever we're calling them. Ow. Is that output a K-mort K pub? Pup. Alright, so I guess I'll start skinning, uh... Cows. Is that all related? Is that to do with the, the food or is that something else entirely? Yeah, it needs skin for the food. Ah, okay. So I think once you solve that, you'll then get that stuff in, which means then we'll get pups out, which means then we'll get tendons out. Tendons are going, don't get me wrong, they are actually going, it's just very slow but also there's nothing behind this, there's now 36 left in the chest once they're gone, there's nothing else going to come out. every 15 seconds but it's 20% faster so it's yeah it's saved a couple of seconds at best if that which ain't great do we have a slaughterhouse square? I feel like we need one we have got slaughterhouses all around up here doing different things one doing blood, one doing tendons, one doing oil from fish Like they're all just gonna get lost in the process. <laughs> so, what are you making in Kev? Cows, did you say? Yeah, I'm just getting cows. You have lots of them in the system, so.
Okay. So you're gonna have to, is one gonna be enough of that or you're gonna need a few more? I might need a few more. <laughs> <I> just <clears throat> I thought of trying to get just get it from rats. So kind of <laughs> rat skin, nice. Don't know where this food is made. I'm assuming this food is made elsewhere because it doesn't appear to be where I thought it would be. Oh, there it is. There it is. I found it. Let's see if we're looking. Here we go. Yes, skin. So you need 50 skin to get three rations. Wow. Let's have a look at that recipe you're doing. Oh, you there. Skin. Oh wow, there's quite a few different um, options for this then. Eight fish to three skin, Corlex to five, Trits, six cotton gut to get four skin. Okay. Oh, zip, zip is one zip here gets you six skin. Which one are you doing then? What's the name of the one you're actually um, skinning alive? Mark Marxes. Ah, there we go, muck moxes, okay. So you get six skin. Are you doing caged ones or. Yeah, you're doing caged ones. Have we got that recipe to do that? The six skins? Yeah. Um, I thought it was doing four. In a slaughterhouse, you need technology defective collagen. But you can get another one called double skin as well, so you get like eight skin as well from it. We need to get production science. Ah. Uh, it's one of those. <laughs> ah, I see, here we go. It's red at the top when you can't make it right. I think I understand how this um, actually works now, F and F F N E I. If it's red at the top, it, it tells you what technology you're missing as well. So we're missing a lot of technologies for that improved stuff. Oh wow. That's a whole lot of stuff there. What was that? Schrodinger? Caged Schrodinger antelope. <laughs> yeah, the Schrodinger's antelope, don't you know of them? <laughs> they could be in a cage or not in a cage simultaneously. <laughs> Yeah, if you look at the cage recipe, there's a 50% chance of getting them in a cage. <laughs> really? That's amazing. Put it to good use, love it. <laughs> ah, here we go, caged muck mucks. Yep. So you get 1 to 4 skin, 40%. Okay. That's fair enough. Right, so that skin yeah. will provide this, so that will give us the food. So I think that solves some of the problem. I'm just not sure if it's. it's the only problem is it's not really quick enough, but I don't really know how to scale it up without breaking everything. That's the problem we've got now. Yeah, I think you have to go right back down the chain to like the very, very start of the chain and start scaling up from there. Otherwise, it all just falls apart. So 
I'm gonna kill the old food production. That we can we we can take advantage of productivity and it's all in the same place and it'll be fine. Okay, I'll take your word for that. So let's head over this way. Ready being made in our T3s. Yeah, it's, it's still t it's still ticking away. I mean, it's done 137 of the, the T3 um, mounted circuit substrates, so it is getting there. Oh, so we do have circuit threes. We have 600 of them. Oh, do we? Are they just being stored somewhere then? What are they called? What's their actual name? High tech circuit boards. Ah, that's what I'm looking for. Ah, brilliant. Okay, that's good. Wait, so where is it? I thought that was what that is. Where is he actually making those then? I can see the printed substrate for them. Where is he actually manufacturing the... Oh, is that the chip there? PCB assembly machine. It's got to be in there, surely. No, it should be in a chip shooter. Oh. Yeah, it's not that one. I've got no idea where it's actually making the circuits. Nope. Nope. You found it. No, that's a that's a two. But that is the chip shooter. Ah, okay, so it looks like that. It looks like a sort of like a weird rocket ship, okay. Ah, is that it? No, that's... <coughs> hmm. Cool. Oh, there Circuits T... Oh, there's Circuits no, T2. No, that's still T2. Where are the T3s? Ah, there we go. It's labelled. It is labelled. There it is. That one is over in the middle of nowhere down there. No wonder I couldn't find it. It wasn't anywhere near where I thought it would be. <laughs> yeah, this is spaghetti machinery, this, isn't it? It really is. It, it works, but nobody knows how. There you are. Found you. <laughs> Polo. <laughs> Right, what we're we missing on the logistic network then? Circuit twos. That was yeah. Binary did say circuit twos were a bit bit of an issue. I think he said nylon's the backup. He did say not too long ago etching solution was another one as well. can't see on the logistic network, but I'm pretty sure we were making that because I'm sure that was part of my build yesterday. Unless I'm spelling it wrong. Hmm. Oh wait, fluids. It's getting hard to remember the things, but it should be near the... Phosphorus? I'm sure, yeah, didn't... Didn't you make some or we barreled it up, is that right? Yeah, it was a good while ago. Yeah, I'm struggling to remember now myself as well. I don't know why that's there. I think that was just something he set up to get more production at one point. When he started building in that top corner. But he could have just copied our existing good iron. I don't <laughs> understand. 
Speaking of good iron, where is it down there? That's it, molten iron, wasn't it? We're making molten iron. Yeah, get our iron plates from the molten iron. Yeah, it looks like he limited it, limited the chest to sort of 500 as well, iron ore. So he didn't stress the network, he just took out a, a small amount to get some... I assume when he needed it, I don't know why. Maybe he didn't have more than iron at that point. Aha, etching solution, yes. that leads into so phosphoric acid oh that's an easy that's an easy one we just don't have any phosphoric phosphates done What's it missing then? Oh, phos phosphine gas. No, that's output. No, the actual phosphate rock, like from the bones. Oh, I see. So we need to find bones then, really. Phosphate rock, so uh, this one here, effectively. Yeah, are we seeing any um, large or big ancient remains anywhere? Nope, that's not one. Let's see if I can find one. Phosphate rock. Nope. No, nope, I assume they're called like large or big or whatnot. These are just called phosphate rocks, ancient remains. So far, yeah, I'm hoping we can just slap down a large drill on it. <laughs> salt, 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 lots of salt, salt, salt. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, wow, it's miles away again. Well, it's right next to the next lake, so. There's a small collection of four small ones on the right hand side of the map, but yeah, all I can see is smaller ones. What's the difference between using a small one and a, a large one then, effectively? Other than it lasting longer, and yeah. So there's no harm in me setting up some mining operations on the small ones, and if need be. No, go for it. Just thinking, the more we get in, the better, I suppose, at this point. I've got to figure out how to mine it first, but I'm sure I'll work it out. Yeah, I'm going to get down to that one, so that's that way. To run down there nice and fast. Oh, we've got a new train track here as well. Lovely. It's like Akram's handiwork. Right, I need to hang a left here. Oh, look how slow you run when you're not on that lime scale. Oh. That's painful. 
Mm -mm. Right, where's that rock? Here it is. Ancient remains. Right, I've not done this before, so I'm wondering what we use. Let's have a look. Phos phosphate rock. So ten bones. Huh, you can turn fish into rocks, okay. Yeah, maybe eventually we can do the mining through animals. I don't know I don't know if we'll ever jump on that. <laughs> I'm pretty certain I can just put a mining put depot down here and um, mine it effectively. I might just need syngas in though, looking at the recipe. It might need uh, input. What's it called? You can mine it with syngas for no difference. How oh, strange. What a strange, strange, strange recipe. Right, give me 50 mining drones, please. One, two, three, four, five. And some power. No, what's it missing? Oh, it does need sing gas. Okay, it actually does need sing gas to produce it. Okay, that's fine. Right, let's put the drones back in, and then we just need to get some bit of sing gas in for mining. So let's do a one of those. Yes, that'll fit there. You request in and you active out. Okay, fingers crossed, I can now do empty sing gas barrels, yes please. Alright, fingers crossed, this will start mining. Yes, here we go. Ah, <clears throat> oh, is there any one miner I can use at a time? Is awful. <laughs> yeah, that is actually awful. I mean, it works, but I'm guessing you need the miners of some sort to make this because that is just horrendous. Phosphate rock. Pfft, 
Wow, this is rubbish. This is just... Well, I don't know why I bothered. What's the thing you can put on top? Is it a mining drill or something then? Drill heads. Okay. What did you build last time, Kev, on the old drill? It was over... Ah, it's here, wasn't it? It was the Niobium. Yep, we'll never have to worry about Niobium again. <laughs> ah, big phosphate mine. Ah, I see. Then you just put in drill heads and get phosphate out. Right, okay. Let's have a look for those. Where's a mine? Phosphate mine. Okay, I can build one of those. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to change this up then because that's just horrendous. I'm so ashamed of that build, I'm just making it disappear. Scrub it from memory, start again. Right. So, a. Phosphate mine I'm building. Consume there we go. Consumes drill heads as fuel then I guess. So do we have just drill heads being made in the network? Yeah, there should be drill heads in the network. What's best to use, mega or standard? For the small ones I'd just use the standard. Standard, ones. yeah. That's fine, at least I can set something up to be useful as well. I'm helping, honest, I'm helping. <laughs> so I want to request in drill head. Let's see, drill. Drill heads, there we go. You just request in. A few of those, they're on the way. Let's get power in. What else does that need? Do I need sin gas in as well? Wait. Doing something wrong here. I'm definitely doing something wrong here. Let's just see how you guys have set yours up. No, 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 don't mind me. Ooh, there's light over here too. Ah, you just passive provider. Oh, I see. I see. Don't see. Have I got a set? That inputs those into there. Now your minds are slightly different to mine. Mining fluid. So do I just put sing gas into this? I think I do. Yes, I think I need still need sing gas in. 
that's where I'm going wrong. Where's my buildings? Yep, so let's do that there. Empty sing gas barrel, which you can actually have. And then in and up matching the wrong side because there's already power on this side, so it makes way more sense to do it that way. And that needs to be an active provider and a requester. Got your drill heads. What am I missing here? Somebody give Turn us a it call. twice. Do what, sorry? Turn the mine twice. Really? So there's a dedicated output spot for the phosphate. Ah, oh dear. I knew that. There we go, that's... Yeah, phosphate is more than solid, I suppose, in terms of with your guys set up over there as well. Yeah, we have like five different kinds of mines over here now. <laughs> you just go mining mad. <laughs> Oh, a zinc mine, nice. Oh, they're actually working as well, lovely. Okay. So that was the... I can't even remember why we're making phosphate for now. What was it part of? Uh, etching acid. Oh, etching, that's it. Etching solution, of course. So in theory, I should see that now. There we go. Producing 1k-ish, using 700-ish. Okay, so we hopefully have fixed that bottleneck. Where was it? There. That's right, it was phosphoric acid we were waiting for. That comes out of that one. Acid, phosphorus acid. We're not got any gasoline. Yeah, it's gasoline barrels.
See, that's all working now. Oh, there we go. Yes, there's the phosphate. That's all going in at the very start now. Beautiful. Fetching solution goes out there. Still not the fastest. It could do with more of this. Steam's keeping up, that's keeping up. Phosphoric acid, phosphine, phosphine gas, okay. input, oh, I thought it was output, put it onto a winner there. Okay. Yeah, it appears the etching solution is... Yeah, it looks like that, that's resolved now. Is it helping circuits tier 2 though, is the question. Um, production. Oh, what are they bloody called? They've got a different name, haven't they? They are down here. No, that's the science. Oh, where are they? Here. Complex circuit board, that's the one. Knew I'd find it in the end. Okay, we're making 10 a minute, we're using 15 a minute. Fair enough. 10, oh, now we're using 45 a minute, oh wow. Consumption is massively above, yeah. Okay. What are we missing? Is there an easy way of figuring out what we're missing as part of the circuit, uh, complex circuits? Or is it just going to be... I can't hear you over the sound of diamond mining. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you on the map? Let's see. There he is. <laughs> if I add Akram into the signal circuit, just a straightforward um, like request one into the box, and you can read it out of there, I suppose. Yeah, each of the components for that specific. Okay, yeah, that might be the best way. So if I go, where am I? Oh, there's a signals train station. Oh. Okay, so if I hop down... Yeah, where's the train? Train, where are you? There you are. Come and pick me up, train. That might be useful. Don't get run over, don't get run over. Where is it? 
Is it actually moving? Nope. Why is he not coming? Come on. This lazy train won't come and pick me up. How shocking. Oh, don't stand on the tracks. Yeah, I'm trying to say just off them. <laughs> I'm running the lime, limestone now. Stuff the train, it had its chance. Ah, I can see you coming in the train. <laughs> can I have a lift, please, sir? You can just take it. That's, all, that's as far as I was going. You weren't even there at the time. Ah, sweet. I don't know where I need to stop actually. Where's this station? I want to go to the signal station. There we go. Choo choo. There we go. Right, so if I come. Where are they? Oh, I can't get to the signal station because there's other trains in the way. Oh, that's not annoying. All right, you need to get out of the way. You need to go... Yep, do that. There we go. I think I solved the problem. close enough now. I can run it. Here we go. This is the signals box, as it were. Let's see. So, if I add every individual part of the circuit to... Oh my god, there's loads of them, isn't there? I'll use a fresh row. I need... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven things technically. But we already have simple circuits, so I need ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. So how do you do this? Do you just set it to request one into the chest and then it will work the rest out itself? Yeah, you put one into the chest and then you said you have to set up the signal. Okay, so if I say it's less than a certain amount, it will then trigger that. Okay, I can just copy the settings and change the um, icon, I guess. Right, the request request is just there for transparency. Cool, okay, so... First things first... Battery. This will be interesting if this works. Like I say, this will be this will be handy to see then what we're actually missing. I love how you put one and it brings seventy-two. Just like yeah, why not? Just bring seventy-two. So if I then change this to battery what do we want less than I'll put less than a hundred and see if it flags up as a, a signal hmm, no, let's put less than 10,000 oh god right okay okay I need to okay it works Show alert, alarms, alarm one, show icon on match, volume, nothing, right. So if I copy that to there, and then change that to battery, that will copy the alarm settings, yes. Guess I have to change that to 
Oh, you can custom the signal as well. So I can actually put battery less than five hundred. Yep, okay, that's battery, so batteries are not the problem, I can say that much for free. Optical fibres, so copy that to there, change this to... I like this, this is a pretty cool um, setup actually. Yeah, people were pretty sceptical at first, but I think... I can see the value. I can absolutely see the value. So this one needs to be optical fibers. Get rid of those batteries out of my inventory. Thank you very much. That's better. Okay, so it does not look to be optical fibers either. Simple circuit boards are fine, I believe they are okay. Diodes, right, let's put diodes in next. Yes, please. Diodes less than five hundred. Oh, diodes. Diodes are less than five hundred. the network just in case that was me pinching them into there don't think it was though so it could be diodes in fact I'm gonna have to rename that alarm aren't I um, what are they called S circuit twos aren't they Urea has gone less than 1k. That's fixed again, that's fine. Right, so diodes is the first one. Next one is going to be microchips. Okay. Microchips less than 500 at the minute as well. In fact, microchips are non existent. Aha! Well, that's already paying off dividends now because now we can see diodes are low, microchips are non existent. Okay. Next. Medium power resistors. Okay, medium power resistors. Search for. There they are. They look to be fine. Okay, 
get those out of there. I thought I picked something else up I shouldn't have. Where are they? No, they're gone. That's fine. So the other one is medium power resistors as well. That's low. So it's good. This will give me something to work on then. Transistors. Transistors. Transistors looks worrying as well. It's, it's the whole production line seems to have dried up. Transistors. Electrolytic capacitors. No silver. No idea. I've not seen any silver actually at all thinking about it. Capacitors as well, holy smokes. You doing everything else, Akram. <laughs> I might do what I might do, I'm just tempted to do this. And then I mean this. it's being made, it's just slow, I think. I think this is all we got. just ever so slightly changed this row now so at the bottom of the row you've got circuit 2 and then everything above it is all the ingredients then it's a little bit more um, readable I think uh, tor toroidal inductors Inductors, there we go. Yeah, it's not a fun process setting up the alarms, is it, for this at all? It's one of those things. I like the idea of it, I don't like the setting up of it. <laughs> uh, printed circuit substrate tier 2. I'm nearly done, yep. I am nearly done. Printed circuit substrate, so that's 
circuit substrate. Oh, so close to spelling that right. Okay, and then the last one. Solder. Nice and easy. What's that? I think it's a remains of your old setup. That's yours, that's got your name all over it, Kev. <laughs> Nothing to do with me, mate. Oh, you're right. Huh. <laughs> yeah, that's old. That's really old, actually. That was when we first got gasoline. Like, that's how old that is. <laughs> Damn, that is old. <laughs> I do wonder if we take it out, will we run out of cyanic acid? But we'll find out. It's easy to set back up. <laughs> okay, set up everything we need for circuit two. So you see now I've listed it. If it's got bracket circuit two, that's what it's for. That's one of, that's where the ingredient is, is mainly requested. So I think he's already put microchips in here somewhere because he's put low microchips. But I don't know where that's coming from. I set it stainless steel, just haven't put anything in it. Okay. What's that one? That's stainless steel. Oh, they're both stainless steel, okay. Let's get that one out of there. Put it in there again. Stainless steel is okay, that's in there. Take that out. Drop that back into the network. <clears throat> okay. No, I still can't find this microchip. Alarm you set somewhere. Oh, yes, it's stainless. not over there, actually. Uh, it is somewhere makes else. Sense. That makes sense. Where is a flashing? Ah, what's this here? Aha, found it. It's over near one of your setups, Kev. Oh, yeah. A couple of alarms set there. Yeah, it's. It's only got my name on it because I turned the volume off. <laughs> I 
Okay, that's fine. I mean, it doesn't doesn't hurt. Well, actually, we don't really need it, I suppose, if that's the case, because we're now monitoring it. I would say, it. yeah, just get rid of it and remake it over there. Yeah, I've already made it in the main <coughs> signal factory, so it seems silly to have it elsewhere. There we go, let's go rid of that. Right, so now I've got to try and work out what to make. So diodes, microchips, medium power resistors, electrolytic capacitors, they're all missing. Look at the diodes chain, see what's going on there. Di diodes? There you are. Oh wow, there's only one one chain for diodes. So what are you missing? So I probably need to add some of these into these things now and start getting a true sense of everything we're missing. It might be a lot of alerts, but I think when you hover over it, it gives you a good. It gives you a sort of hit list of stuff. Right, go and make that because you're missing that. So we've got tin plate in there. Nylon's on the list of this one. Didn't you say earlier binary said nylon? Yeah, I think nylon was having issues. Nylon. Here we go. Nylon's okay now. Well, the circuit network will be the judge of that in a second. <laughs> Let's see if it flashes at us. Okay, nylon is okay, it is not flashing. Fair enough. <laughs> Sermet. Let's add that in and see. This is it now. I'm just setting up circuit networks. This is my life. I'm just setting all the alerts to 1k, so I'm hoping it's enough. I think 1k is a nice round number to have. <clears throat> so it's okay. Right, let's do the rare earth oxides first, because I think that might be the... Rare earth oxides. Copy and paste that way. Oh, that sucks. Rip Earth. Oxides. Okay, rare earth oxides is less than one K. from inventory yeah it might be the rare earth oxides but let's see there's two more things to add here and lightly P so That 
that's lightly N, and then this will be lightly P. Ah, that's going to be these, isn't it? This one, this one was lightly in doped. There we go. Type in doped, you find what you want. Lovely. This is like the p-doped silicon. There we go. So that is... Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're also missing as well, then, judging by this. Yeah. Rare earth oxides, lightly n-doped silicon, lightly p-doped silicon. They are other items missing off of the list for diodes. Okay. Again, a lot of these seem to come back to etching solution. Let's add that into the list. I will have a massive circuit network of things built up very shortly. <laughs> it's one of those things I think you have to add on the fly. Stuff that you need. Oh, I've just copied the name of that, haven't I? That's... Etching solution. There we go. The list of things is quite getting quite big now, though, unfortunately. The more I add, the more I realise there's a lot of stuff missing. Let's have a look at rare earth oxides. Let's go there. Okay, so that's from rare earth concentrate. Is that just... Oh, wow, there's a whole chain for this. Oh, my God. Rare earth solution, rare earth slurry and ammonia. Rare earth mud and sulfuric. Rare, rare earth, earth dust and sulfuric acid. Rare earth powder, rare earth ore. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Certainly looks like it. Is that the chain? Yeah, so it, that's just like a basic chain, isn't it, to get a, a small amount out and working. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Where does rare earth ore come from then? I'm assuming it's just mining. Oh, I've got quite a lot though. I've got 92k rare earth ore, so I can just call the rare earth ore in then. Yeah, that's fine. That's mine. It's not an issue then. I don't need to mine any. Okay, let's find a square to start working in, or two. 
Z square is here. Let's go for. Let's go for these two squares. So. Come down three. One. Two. Three and run this way. Okay, some spare squares out here I can use. This looks like a similar chain to some of those I've done before, just different items. There we go, I'm going to build in this one. Okay, let's see how far I can get in half hour or so tonight then. I'm going to try and... Rare... Rare Earth Ore. Into powder. That's the first one. Jaw crushers. The classic jaw crusher. Oh, put a couple of red ones. Yeah, why not? Should be fairly straightforward in some respects. I've built similar to this, so it shouldn't be that difficult. He says. Here we go, jaw crushers. So, one, two, and in. And in. So you will make, where are you? Rare earth powder, there we go. So it might be wise to use mini loaders on this. And do where are they? Request in there. I oh, know. Uh, no, that's right. That's right. Because you can just do input that, input that. That works. Oh, I haven't left space for the output. I'm gonna have to move it over at least one. Move it up one and put it there. Now we can output to the back of here. Although, oh, no, that's okay, yeah, we do it this way, and then we just uh, split it out with splitter at the bottom. Do that, and then. Kind of want this to run. Mm -hmm. There we go. Just try and keep it on one row if I can, so stuff can output and then all join in with itself. So input output. Okay, I can process this quite quickly to be fair. There's no reason why uh, we shouldn't be able just to copy this down. Uh, 
I reckon oh, it does. And then do the same with this part, maybe. And that means I can then keep everything looking. Oh no, how's that going to go? Hmm. One belt down. Okay, we just. I think we just have to do a bit of belt weaving here to get this to look good. Yeah, rinse and repeat. Yeah, and in fact, that one can come off there, and you can actually put a splitter there, and take the stone out. Where are you, stone? Oh no, sorry, wrong way around. You need to go that side. In fact, it doesn't even need to be that. It can just be. A mini loader into a active chest. I think. <laughs> Three, two, one, and mini loader. Okay, let's try hooking that up, see what we get. Yes, that works, that loads into there. Now I just need to take this stuff out along here. Okay, so that's phase phase one complete. So rare earth powder goes into rare earth dust bleh, dust in a ball mill. Yep, this is all very familiar now. Make a couple more ball mills. Don't know how good the ratio is going to be, but we can always load up more raw earth ore if need be. Okay, so this will be that's the row. That's that. That's that. So. It there. So that will come that way, and this will all load in this way. Hopefully, let's set that to rare earth dust. So we get that, plus we get gravel out as well. Fantastic. Just fits, just fits. Okay, gonna need a few more of those little buggers. You guys doing okay, building wise? I think so. I'm currently trying to cheat some uh, production science into existence. <laughs> Won't say no to that, definitely not.
two. I need three. What are you building, Akram? I can see you over here doing something. Tufra plantations. Okay. You're watching potatoes. <laughs> ah, nice. Nothing like sitting around watching potatoes grow. Yeah, can't argue with that. Right, that's that done, and then the output of this will be. I need more mini loaders, definitely. Can I request any? I'm sure we've got mini loaders in the mall, haven't we? Yes, we do. It saves me making them by hand every time. Lovely. So this one we will output, output, no. Output. Any power? That's absolutely fine. That should reach. And then we'll take this up the way. In. Ow. Can I not do oh, my cunning plan again? Don't be silly, Akram. I don't calculate outputs. <laughs> I'm an artist, I'm trying to fill the square basically and hope that when I press go on it all, each section starts working perfectly without any interaction from me. <laughs> My square has been expanded. <laughs> Just got to try and get this to fit. Yeah, I thought that'd be a problem. Oh, should have just did it down the way. I could have just done the same. Just flipped it. Never mind. Right, so this comes through. This is going to come out this way. comes into here and down this comes up and over I think that's right that comes out merges with this this comes out merges with this yep comes through into here that merges with this and this rinse and repeat yes okay bit shorter because I've built it a bit different but that's absolutely fine it's half the challenge this getting this all to fit I'm 
going to run out of space if I'm not careful. Oof. Just, just, just fits. There we go. And then this is taking gravel out. Some of those in there. There we go. Output priority to the left. Let's get gravel going that way. Good stuff comes that way. Okay, let's hook this one up and see what chaos we can cause. Okay, looks alright. That's good. That's started. This should output the dust and the gravel. Yes. Dust and gravel. Dust and gravel. That's working so far. I'll take it. Yep, that should back up now. So now we're taking the rare earth and dust. And that's where we're going to get the rare earth mud from, I believe. I'm looking for I'm looking for it's gone off my list now rare earth oxides I'm sure it was oxides mud comes out of rare earth, dust, sulfuric acid and a hell of a lot of water. Wow. In an FTS reactor. Holy smokes. Where was that sneak peek? Let's have a look. Mud, yep, that's there. Hmm, why does that say I don't trust this recipe now? Right, oh, I know, hang on, let's go to there. Sure, it's rare earth oxides, wasn't it? I'm not going mad. Doing? I'm not sure now. I'm just checking for myself. Rare earth concentrate. Rare, it is rare earth oxides. I knew it was. I thought it was going mental. That's right. I'm back on the back on the train now. I know what I'm doing. Rare earth mud. Here we go. Yeah, rare earth mud and s right. So I need to get that one. So it's rare earth, uh, sulfuric and water in a FTS reactor. Okay, that's a new one. Oh, I can build a Mark II. Lovely. So these produce, what do they do? These gives me three dust. Three 
three deaths every ten seconds. So that's three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one every ten seconds. So that's two point one a second, so I say two a second. That's a fair Our salt, holy smokes, no way. At least that's easy. <laughs> Where's this? Where's this building? I did just build it. There it is. Oh, that's funky. Okay, so that'll be that. That'll be that. That can go there. Although, having said that, this has got a few weird. Yeah, this input and output is going to be a lot harder. Going to need a lot of water. 2,000 water every 8 seconds. 1,000 in 4, 500 in 2, 250 a second. So it's one pump jack, okay. Let's build a standard pump jack. that there and then we can literally just hook this up hopefully like so a sulfuric that might be trickier because I might have to come out of it oh, I'll have to move it down one yeah has to go there only need a little building for it oh yes you know what that'll fit just nicely there then my plan comes together Questers, where are you? Quest the chest, please. Okay, that will unload sulfuric into there. Yep, that's fine. We just need the rare earth dust which comes off of this line. Okay. So it just needs to be a stack insert to make sure it keeps up. So rich dust, sand and steam. So I can literally output Up. Let's go up to there. Okay, move that up to there. Jump that. Ah, no, not to there. To there. Yep. Okay, that's perfect. That's good. So now I just need to get rid of the steam, which was, I think, was it a tailings pond last time? I'm sure, it was a tailings pond. And then barrel up the rare earth mud, which I'm going to get 250. 
every eight seconds. So yeah, small one's absolutely fine for that as well. I don't need to barrel it. I don't think I do. I think I can use that straight down the line. Save myself a barrel. It's going to go straight into a thickener, so might as well just. Okay, let's see if we take that. Needs a tailings pond in there first. How much space have we got? Oh, it's not big enough. I need to use red ones. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Oh no, I'm not barreling it up, am I, Plonker? Just decided that as well. So that'll put that into there. This then just needs to come out into a thickener, but what I want to do is take one of those and do that. So there's an FTS reactor. They work at 1.5 speed, that's perfect. Stack in fast out. Do you plonker? Active all the way. Active all the way. Power pole in the middle. Copy the recipe. Can't mix fluids. Oh, is it going to try and put that into there? Give me a break. The steam's on this side. Oh, that is so annoying. So annoying. So okay, I need to flip this. That's producing enough for one. Oh, I should have done the whole thing, shouldn't I? Save myself a lot Why of time. Why don't you just have them facing the same direction and then just make everything where it needs to be? How do you mean? Which way? You're looking at it a different way to me, aren't you? I think. I mean, you can either go up, down, or you could do it sideways. I think, yeah, actually, I think what I should do is actually remove that tailings pond. Move this. Um, back up, maybe. What's that? What's behind that? Oh, the pipe. Need, what do I need? I need at least a two space to get steam out and that out. So it's got to be at least there, I think. No, which way do I want to do it? I'm trying to. I'm trying to make it fit like this, but it's not going to work the way I want it. I think. I'm going to have to 
do that. The output won't come from there, the output has to come from there. Does that side of things, then it's just the output which I can put like that. Okay. Yep, that's working, that's fine. Rinse and repeat all the way down, I suppose. Bring everything out to the sides. That's how it's going to go. That's how we'll do it, I believe. So I should be able to pick that section up there, use that as the guide. There we go, right. I figured it in the end, sort of. Do a few more of those. I don't know if you're actually watching the stream tonight, but my um, birthday present arrived uh, today to myself, which I'm now currently wearing. <laughs> my very own merch. I treated myself off of um, the stream elements, because I've always wanted um, like the hoodie and t-shirt and that, so I've now got a t-shirt and I've got a hoodie. I got a mug on the way as well, which is awesome. My wife thinks I'm having a midlife crisis, but I'm just, I don't care. I've got my logo on my on my own t-shirt and my own hoodie, so I was like, give it two weeks, be wearing that hoodie, going, oh, it's really comfortable. Can I have one? So. Now my son wants one as well. He was telling me today, he said, "Oh, Daddy, I want to, I want to use my um, birthday money and get a, get some of your merch." I'm like, all right, <laughs> do I want your own name on it? He's like, "No, I want one with your logo on it." All right, fair enough. Oh my God, I've not put that in the right place. Oh, I'm getting oh, bloody buildings. footprint of some of these buildings is so far out from where it needs to be it's not even funny there we go these just need water pipe heading yes Just need to get rid of the steam. 
and the rare earth and mud is good to go. So if I can get rid of the steam, I can actually keep this space looking kind of tidy. Rare earth mud goes into rare earth slurry and tailings with sulfuric acid in a thickener. Can make those. Oh, I can make Mark II of those as well, even better. Make everything a Mark II. If in doubt, Mark II. Right, where can I get this steam? Oh, I can be really sneaky with that steam now as well. Because of the way I've got that. Change that to that and bring it down here. Oh, that is beautiful. I'd love to say I planned it that way. Unfortunately, I cannot. Was that Tailings Pond? Oh, that fit. Where's a tailings pond gonna fit? Bugger. And it would fit just there, but I feel like that's cheating a little bit. Let's put it there for now. There we go. So now we're using these red dotty things, the thickeners. We want these lined up. It has to be misaligned a little bit. I'm going to have to put these there, I think. Which will be. Let's say you want to make, what are you making? Rare earth slurry in. Oh yeah, I need to get, um... That needs to move down then. To there. Slurry and tailings out, which is fine because that's there. Sulfuric is there. Beautiful. No small parts, that doesn't sound right at all. That sounds like a problem. I'm sure there should be Akram to be fair. There we go, that'll be sulfuric in. We we'll just hook this line up to there, that puts that in. So I've got four, so bloody telly, stay on. How much does that give me? I'm gonna get I need one hundred every ten seconds, but I'm producing two fifty every eight seconds, so I've got more than enough. Yep, okay. Mm -hmm. 
try and work this out a little bit better. That's that's good for that. Where's all our molten copper going? Molten We're turning copper. it into plates. We have negative barrels on it, so it's just like ah. Uh... I run. <laughs> But we can now make small parts with uh, molten metals, which would be better. Be more efficient, I suppose. Yeah, so I'll set it up and see what happens, I guess. You can only break it once, it's all good. So that's another thick amount. Okay. That's fine then, you can go in there. And we just need to put this one down and rotate it. Quite oh, slow to build, jeez. Too close to that. I forgot about that. Should be right. That should be right. Definitely getting some work, but I'm getting far too tired to keep building tonight. I think I'm gonna have to call it a night and continue tomorrow. I'm um, I'm up to the rare rare earth slurry stage now, so I'm getting there. Still do it surely. Those things, it's not um, they're not easy builds. These they just they do take a little bit longer than um. You would like to build, but yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Right, so yeah, on that happy note, I am going to call it an evening. Thank you, chaps, for coming along as always. Um, nice having you. When is it today? It's Monday, today, isn't it? So yeah, tomorrow's Tuesday, so yeah, it should be on tomorrow. I'm not sure what I'm playing tomorrow yet. Whether I go for Panadons or whether I start something else to run alongside, because my brain does melt a little bit during Panadons. I can do it with a few nights off, I think. <laughs> also, give D Ray a chance to catch up at some point, bless him. I think he's running a little bit behind. But I'll, um, I'll be sure to stick it in um, Discord, uh, what I'm up to. So if you guys are about, you're more than welcome to come on and join and have a catch up with some Panadons or if you fancy playing whatever I'm playing, welcome to come along and play that as well. But until then, I will see you guys later.